Imagine a bustling frontier town built on the promise of gold and dreams. Welcome to Goldfield, Arizona, circa 1893. This was a time when the glint of gold ignited a spark of ambition and adventure in the hearts of men and women alike. Goldfield began as a whisper, a rumor of gold tucked deep within the folds of the superstition mountains. This whisper turned into a roar that echoed across the nation, drawing prospectors to this corner of Arizona like moths to a flame. In the blink of an eye, Goldfield exploded into life. Makeshift tents and shanties morphed into wooden structures, and soon the town was buzzing with saloons, general stores, a blacksmith, and even a school for the children of the intrepid prospectors. The streets echoed with the clatter of horseshoes, the laughter and music from saloons, and occasionally the crack of a gunshot as disagreements turned deadly. The spirit of the residents was as unyielding as the rugged landscape. They were a hearty lot, braving the harsh desert conditions, staking their claims and digging deep into the earth, all in the pursuit of the elusive glitter of gold. They lived and breathed the promise of prosperity, the dream of striking it rich that was the heartbeat of Goldfield. But like any frontier town, Goldfield had its share of challenges. Water was scarce, the heat relentless, and the gold, while plentiful, was not easily won. Yet the residents of Goldfield were undeterred. They saw beyond the sweat and toil, their eyes fixed on the glimmering potential of their golden dreams. In a short span, Goldfield transformed from a desolate desert spot to a bustling gold rush town. It was a hive of activity, a testament to the human spirit of adventure and the allure of wealth. The town was alive, thriving and booming with promise. But the real question was, could it sustain its golden prosperity? As we'll soon discover, Goldfield's story is as full of twists and turns as the mine shafts beneath its surface. The boom was just the beginning. Goldfield boomed, but could it sustain its golden prosperity? At its peak, Goldfield was a hive of activity, but just how many people called this desert town home? Now let's take a moment to ponder this question. Picture the bustling streets, the clanging saloons, the hopeful glint in every prospector's eye. Got a number in mind? Good. At the height of its glory in the late 1890s, Goldfield was bursting at the seams with around 4,000 residents. Yes, you heard that right, 4,000 souls were living, working, dreaming and scheming in this remote corner of the Arizona desert. Now you might be wondering, how did a town sprout up so quickly in such a rugged, inhospitable landscape? Well, my friends, the answer is as old as mankind itself, the lure of gold. When whispers of a rich vein of gold spread like wildfire, fortune seekers from all corners of the country flocked to Goldfield. They came by horse, by wagon, by foot, driven by the promise of wealth and a better life. Imagine the scene, tents and makeshift homes springing up overnight, saloons and general stores opening their doors to cater to the influx of miners, the air thick with dust and dreams. The town grew at a dizzying pace, fueled by ambition and the glittering possibility of striking it rich. But as we all know, gold fever can be a fickle mistress. While Goldfield glittered on the surface, its foundations were built on shifting sands. Beneath the buzz of activity and the clink of gold nuggets, a darker undercurrent was beginning to stir. The vein of gold that had brought Goldfield to life was not as reliable as it seemed. Fault lines in the earth threatened to fracture the town's dreams of prosperity, and whispers of dwindling gold supplies began to circulate. It was a threat that could bring Goldfield to its knees faster than a gunslinger in a duel. However, beneath the surface, a threat to Goldfield's prosperity was brewing. And as we'll soon discover, the fall of Goldfield was as dramatic and sudden as its rise. But that's a tale for another time. For now, let's bask in the golden glow of Goldfield at its peak, a testament to human ambition and the irresistible allure of gold. The faulted vein was a ticking time bomb beneath Goldfield's streets. Even as the town thrived, an unseen disaster was brewing beneath the surface. The faulted vein was a geological anomaly, a fracture in the earth that separated the precious gold from the miners' eager grasp. This fault line wasn't just a physical barrier, it was a harbinger of Goldfield's impending doom. As miners dug deeper into the earth, the faulted vein began to reveal its treacherous nature. The gold deposits became increasingly difficult to reach and the costs of mining began to skyrocket. Meanwhile, the gold that had once seemed so abundant started to dwindle. This was the beginning of the end for Goldfield. 
The town's economy, built solely on the promise of gold, started to falter. Businesses that had once thrived on the mining boom began to close their doors. The saloons, once filled with boisterous miners celebrating their good fortune, fell silent. The once bustling streets of Goldfield started to empty as miners moved on in search of new opportunities. One by one, the inhabitants of Goldfield began to leave, their dreams of gold-dusted prosperity shattered by the faulted vein. Families packed up their belongings, abandoning homes that had been filled with the promise of a golden future. The town's population plummeted, and the vibrant community that had formed in the heart of the Superstition Mountains began to fade. Goldfield's decline was swift. From its peak as a bustling frontier town, it descended into a ghost town in a matter of years. The buildings that had once teemed with life now stood empty, silent monuments to a town that had lived and died by the gold rush. Goldfield crashed as quickly as it had risen, but was this the end of the town's story? The streets of Goldfield may have fallen silent, but its tale was far from over. As we'll see, this ghost town had a surprising second act in store, one that would once again draw people from all over the world to this corner of Arizona. Goldfield may have fallen, but it was far from forgotten. Even as its gold veins ran dry and its bustling streets turned silent, a new chapter was waiting to unfold. The tumbleweeds may have taken over, but the spirit of Goldfield remained, echoing in the abandoned saloons and whispering through the ghostly mining shafts. As the years rolled on, a spark of interest began to glow again in the heart of Goldfield. Instead of prospectors, it was historians and tourists who were drawn to this once thriving town. Their curiosity piqued by tales of its Wild West past and the promise of hidden treasures. What they found was a relic of a bygone era, a time capsule preserving a slice of American history. In the 1980s, Goldfield was given a new lease on life. It was reborn, not as a mining town, but as a living history museum. A place where visitors could step back in time and walk the same dusty streets that once echoed with the clink of gold coins and the laughter of hardy pioneers. Today, Goldfield is a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world. They come to experience the Wild West, complete with authentic saloons, a functioning narrow-gauge railroad, and even staged gunfights. There's also a fascinating museum that tells the story of Goldfield, from its gold rush beginnings to its fall and rebirth. But it's not just the history that attracts visitors. There's an undeniable allure to this ghost town. Perhaps it's the rugged beauty of the surrounding superstition mountains, or maybe it's the whispers of the untold riches supposedly still buried beneath Goldfield streets. One thing is certain though, Goldfield is more than just a ghost town. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Old West, a place of dreams and determination, of boom and bust, and of rebirth from the ashes. Goldfield streets may be quieter now, but some say its riches are still waiting to be discovered. And who knows, maybe the next chapter in Goldfield's story is just waiting for someone with enough grit and gumption to write it. Could there be truth to the legend of hidden riches still buried beneath Goldfield's dusty streets? As the sun sets on our journey through Goldfield, we turn our attention to a mystery as old as the town itself. The Lost Dutchman's Mine, a tantalizing tale that has intrigued treasure hunters for over a century. The legend tells of a rich gold mine discovered by a German immigrant known as the Dutchman. Many believe that this mine is located somewhere within the Superstition Mountains, a stone's throw from Goldfield. The Dutchman, whose real name was Jacob Waltz, supposedly hid his mine so well that its location died with him in 1891. Since then, Countless adventurers have tried to unearth the lost Dutchman's mine, drawn by the promise of untold riches. Yet despite the numerous expeditions and the many maps purported to lead to the mine, its exact location remains a tantalizing mystery. Some say it's a myth, a tall tale spun from the gold fever that gripped the region. Others believe it's out there waiting to be discovered. There are clues, of course. Stories passed down through the generations, old maps, cryptic hints left behind by the Dutchman himself, but nothing conclusive, nothing that has led to the mine yet. As we leave Goldfield, we invite you to ponder this mystery. What do you think? Is the lost Dutchman's mine real, or is it just another ghost in this ghost town's rich tapestry of tales? Whether or not Goldfield streets are paved with gold, its story is a treasure in itself. 
So did Goldfield's story spark your inner adventurer? If it did, we want to hear about it. Unearth your wildest gold rush dreams and share them in the comments. We can't wait to dig into your stories. And if you're craving more historical adventures like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember, history is full of forgotten corners waiting to be explored. So stay tuned and join us on our next journey into the past.